In this video, we'll be showing you how to transfer data from Microsoft SQL Server to Snowflake. Let's dive in. So in this video, we're going to start off in our uh, Microsoft SQL Server instance here. I'm going to show off the table that I'm going to take from SQL Server over into Snowflake. Um, and you can see we just made this the simple little two row uh, example table here that just has an ID name and quantity uh, from this example inventory table here. So we're going to take this table, uh, turn it into a turn it into a CSV inside a shipyard and then send it over into Snowflake. Let's go over how we can do that. So inside of Shipyard, we want to first search for our Microsoft SQL Server blueprints. And then you can see we have a store query results as CSV. So I can click that, uh, which is going to add me a vessel over here in our fleet builder, as well as pop up an authorization guide. If you if this is your first time using the blueprint and need help finding the values that uh, I'm going to input in just a moment. Uh, so I'm going to close that for right now. I can name this vessel store query results as CSV. Um, and then it's going to input all my, all my values over here. So my host. Uh, my username, grab the password, our database is this test DB, and then my query, again, I'm just going to go back to this um, and then copy and paste that query, put it in there, um, and then I'm going to name my file instead of output.csv, I'm going to name it, um, I'll just keep it output.csv, that'll work for this one. Um, and we want to go and I also want to note for each vessel inside of shipyard and for each fleet, uh, we have notifications. Uh, so this is email notifications that you can send an email after any error or after a completion of an on demand run. Um, and then we also have guardrails for each vessel that you can protect against the number of retries that a vessel does if it fails, uh, the time between those retries and then the runtime cut off so that, you know, you don't have a fleet that goes rogue and runs for over an hour that you don't want. Um, so that's our first vessel. So that's going to grab that query from SQL Server and then save it as a CSV inside a shipyard. Um, so now we need to go add a Snowflake vessel to take that uh, CSV and turn it into a table inside of Snowflake. So I click that, which again is going to add me a vessel over here. I'm going to pull them apart. Um, I'm going to say uh, upload CSV to Snowflake here for this vessel. Um, and again, just go through my inputs here, uh, my username. Grab the password, our account name, the warehouse, our database, we're gonna put inside of our demo database here. Um, schema, we're gonna keep Snowflake video. Uh, so we did not put the we did not put the file here in a folder. Uh, you can do an exact match or regex. If you use regex, you can actually add multiple tables at the same time or multiple CSVs at the same time. Uh, we won't do that this time. Um, and then we just kept it output.csv and then we want to name this. Uh, so we'll name this SQL server data here. So that's going to be the, the name of the table inside of Snowflake. Um, and then you can make this append data um, or replace data uh, or add data only if it's empty. Um, so that gives you some options to, to see how you want this data to be put into the table. Um, so now that we have our two vessels here, so we have our, we're going to get the data from SQL server and serve it, store as a CSV and then take the CSV and upload it into Snowflake. I can connect these together uh, based on a success, and then I can name my fleet over here. So we're gonna name it Microsoft SQL Server so it's Snowflake. Okay, and then I can go down here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen and click Save and Finish. And as soon as this gets done, it's gonna say the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here. And now I can click Run Your Fleet. Um, so when I click that, it's going to schedule the fleet to run immediately. So we call this an on-demand run inside of, uh, inside of uh, Shipyard. Um, so this is going to take us over to our fleet log page where we can monitor the fleet run as it's happening in real time. Uh, so you can see in the middle of our screen, we have a Gantt chart showing it's going to show each vessel's journey. Uh, so if it's yellow, that means it's currently running. If it's green, it's complete. And if it's red, something's aired out inside of that vessel. Uh, and if I hover over the Gantt chart, you can see the runtime, you can see the name of the vessel, retries and exit code if those are applicable into the situation. You can see we have the same data down here in table form if you'd prefer that. Um, you can even click inside of this Gantt chart um, and you can see the, the inputs that we put in for this Microsoft SQL Server vessel. Um, and then you can see the output telling us that output.csv was successfully created. So that means that you know what we did actually ran successfully like we wanted it to. Um, so I can back up here um, and you can see our, our upload CSV to Snowflake is currently running um, and it's just finished. So you can see that our fleet has a status of success here. Um, you, you can see the build will run time and that full duration of the fleet run, including, you know, the, the downtime in the middle that you can see here. Uh, so now let's open up Snowflake. Um, I can refresh my data here 
and you can see that I have my SQL Server data here. I can click that, preview my data, and you can see there's that, that same data that we saw inside of SQL Server at the very beginning of our video. Um, so in this video, we talked about how to take a query from SQL Server, save the data from that query as a CSV, and then upload that CSV to a table inside of Snowflake. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.